Hello everybody, today I'd like to share with you these Durotest 60 watt incandescent light bulbs. Now these aren't your standard 60 watt light bulbs. First of all, you can tell that they have the unique bump on the top to help extend the life of the bulb and I believe to prevent blackening, if I remember correctly. Um, I do not remember the exact name for these bulbs. They're obviously A19 shaped, but with the bump on top I think it had a different um, number, uh, A something, 19 to that effect. Uh, somebody will probably remember in the comments below. But anyway, Durotest made a whole range of unique and interesting light bulbs. I do believe the name is still around, but the quality I don't think is there anymore. Um, these particular bulbs are definitely the shape that you see here on the packaging. However, the coating that they have on them is the unique part. So both of these packages are the exact same thing, and as you can tell, there's plastic coming out of them, and the uh, Durotest seem to put plastic on some of their bulbs um, to protect them. So here are their protections. Anyway, we'll take a look at one of the packaging, since they're both the exact same thing. On the front we have Durotest lighting. On the side we have America's Best Lamp, and I do believe that when these things were around, um, just like these right here, they were fantastic quality. I picked these things up a long time ago for a little less than a dollar. You can see two bulbs and clothes, and then they talk a little bit about choosing an energy saving version. You can see here the standard shape, because they would also put that in these packages as well. On this side we can see the Durotest logo, and some information about the bulbs inside. Made in the USA. Very cool. So, let's take one of these bulbs out. Can you tell what's so unique about them? They're half coated. Look at that. Isn't that unique? That is just so cool. And inside you can see the, well I'll call this one an M shaped filament because I can't remember the exact name for the way that it is supported. But a very good quality filament. I mean just look at that. We have the heat reflector there at the bottom to help um, prevent heat from getting to the base and affecting the cement. The etch, we have 60 watt, 120 to 125 volt. ATC, it says ATC reflector. I don't know what ATC stands for, but it definitely does qualify as some sort of a reflector bulb, I suppose. Of course, Duro test, and they call it a flood. So, a floodlight bulb, but um, really interesting design for that. Maybe you'd put it in a small can light or something to that effect. It says 4,000 user hours and sometimes they'd even go way way past that because these bulbs are insanely good quality. Now obviously that's the same pack but here is yet another one of the exact same thing. This one has a little bit of uh, stuff on the side of it there. Same exact etch very cool. And a very nice brass base as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and get our socket over here. We'll grab one of these bulbs and screw it in. Oh, apparently it was on. Anyway, there you can see the filament glow. Let me turn off our main light. Of course, I can dim this down. Maybe get some detail on it. Very cool filament design. So, it's going to be hard for the camera to pick it up because it wants to make everything way brighter than it really should, is, than it really should be. If I add uh, environment lighting, sometimes it's a little better. But you can see here is where the coating cuts off, so it does act more as a flood than a total light bulb, but it definitely does put out light in all directions. So here I'm pointing it this way, and now I'll point it straight down, and you can see it definitely is a little bit brighter, as it is acting somewhat as a flood. You know, point straight down or directly out. Just a really cool design. I think this is the first time this bulb has ever been turned on, actually, because it smells like little Christmas bulbs, the really old ones. I think that's the coating here is making that smell. Very cool. 
course, there's the etch again. Very unique and cool bulbs. I just can't get enough of the cool, unique design. I do believe um, these actually came in different colors for different purposes, uh, half-coated like this, I believe, for like um, funeral homes and things like that. But anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this little video of these really cool, unique Durotest 60-watt floodlight bulbs, I guess is what they call them, a reflector, whatever I put in the title above. Once again, I really do hope you enjoyed, and also please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.